In this video we're going to be looking at equivalent and simplifying ratios and to do that as an example I'm going to use my Milo scenario from the previous video. Now when I had uh, used to make Milo I had a 50 mil glass so it was sort of easy to get that ratio right because I had uh, 1 plus 4 was 5 so all I had to do was have 10 mils of Milo and 40 mils of milk. So what I then happened is that I got a bigger glass and it was about 250 mils. Now I still wanted to have the same ratio of Milo to milk. So what I had to do is create an equivalent fraction. Now this is how you create an equivalent fraction. So if I have my ratio here, I have one part Milo, four parts uh, milk, and that's a total of five. But I wanted to get to 250 mil okay now to get to 250 mil I know that what I need to do to 5 is multiply that by 50 so all you have to do when you're creating equivalent fractions is as uh, equivalent ratio sorry is you got to do the same as you would as if you were multi finding an equivalent fraction and that is multiply the top number by the bottom number but in this case that's multiplying the first ratio by the second ratio and in this case we're going to do times by 50 so if I times 1 by 50 I got 50 mils and then if I times 4 by 50 I got 200 mils so that would be a part part which gives me a total of 250 mil. So that's how you create an equivalent fraction. All you need to do is multiply the first part of the ratio and the second part of the ratio by the same number and you actually get an equivalent fraction. Now what you also can do is that you also need to simplify back the other way. So if I quickly rub this out here. I'll pause this. So what we want to do now is quickly show you how we simplify the ratio. So I'm going to give you an example. My brother, he used to have, uh, when, with his glass, he had 60 mils of Milo, 300 mils of milk. I had, as we said, 50 mils of Milo and 250 mils of milk. Now we wanted to see who had the stronger um, ratio. So the only way we can do this is if we simplify these two ratios to see uh, which one is stronger. Now the way that you simplify a ratio is that you need to find a common factor between the two parts of the ratio. Now it's easy in my case, okay, I know that 50 and 250, the common factor, highest common factor here is 50. So if I divide 50, obviously by 50 will give me 1 and then 250 divided by 50 will give me 4. Now in the second one, the common factor between 60 and 300 is 60. Okay, so 60 divided by 60 will be 1, and 300 divided by 60 will be 5. So I can work out by simplifying my ratios, I know that my part is stronger, because I have one part Milo, four parts milk. My brother has one part Milo, five parts milk. So that's how you simplify a ratio. So it's important that you understand that. We're going to be working through this as we go through our lessons. Uh, make sure you ask questions, take any notes. Thanks, boys.